everybody. Welcome to Skyline's weekly video blurb. This week it's going to be, and next week actually, probably a two-parter, maybe even a three-parter if it goes a little long, is going to be on change. Uh, change in an organization, change in people's lives. Uh, when thinking about the leader's job, one of his responsibilities is to encourage change in the organization and the people of that organization as well. Every living organism on the face of the earth and every living organization on the face of the earth, um, if it's alive anyways and growing, goes through changes. It's inevitable. Change is inevitable. Uh, the leader must learn to, to navigate these changes without losing his people, his employees, if you will, or church attenders, if it's a, a, a preacher, a leadership, pastor. Um, the leader must help the people grow in these changes and through these changes, help them navigate the changes uh, with the rest of the leaders and the leader himself, him or herself. Change is not always embraced. And um, it stretches people and it it uh, it hurts it hurts people for the good usually <laughs> not always but uh, and certainly in our case for our lesson we're talking about good positive change uh, it's not always embraced because it uh, challenges the status quo right um, think about this quote with me in one of his uh, books or one of his writings the English novelist um, Arnold Bennett from the late 1800s he said this any change even a change for the better is always accompanied by drawbacks and discomforts and so this is why change is avoided by so many people in so many organizations one of my mentors um, coach and friend Ben Ingebretson made this statement to me the other day and uh, if I was making Roman numeral main points, this would be the first one, I guess. Listen to this. No change takes place in people without discomfort. But there needs to be less discomfort than there is comfort. And so I think about this that as an equation. This is an equation. And so I see one-third discomfort and two-thirds comfort equals change. It equals a whole, of course, but it equals change. And, and it's, it's an equation. I have a little chart I made up. Um, I'm going to throw these at you. It's a wonderful digitally, electronic digital chart. But let's look at this a minute. And it, this is actually one that Ben drew up on a little piece of paper that I, I tried to make uh, better, but um, I'm, afraid, I'm afraid it probably won't be better. But check this out. This is the uh, whole picture, and um, we see at the top there the city of change. We see at the bottom there three individuals who are going to go into this land of change or head towards the city of change. And then on each side of the path to the doorway of the city of change, we see the land of same and the land of different. There's the land of same and the land of different. Here, look at these guys at the bottom. They're getting ready to take off. Can you see their faces? That's how many people go through this pathway of change. And it's a scary thing for many people. And then they finally get to the top of the city of change. But on either side of that path, we see this. Here's the land of same. Look, look also there, it says AKA, which means also known as the land of familiar or the land of common. And then this is the safe zone, the sure zone, or the secure zone, if you will, the comfort zone. Those aren't always bad. And then on the other side of this path is the land of different, also known as the land of odd or weird or strange. This is the unsure unsafe unknown zone and uh, as people these three people here are navigating through this path to the city of the city of change they've got to pass through these lands now notice this path the bulk of this path I'm gonna zoom back out the bulk of this path 
is in the land of same. And that is so very important. So, think about this as you're navigating yourself and other people to the city of change. They have to be in the land of same where there's familiarity, commonness, the safe zone, the secure zone, more than they are in the land of different. Okay, that's enough material for this week's video blurb. Um, next three weeks, we'll have part two, three, and four on navigating through change, taking that little pathway through the right lands, the land of comfort and the land of discomfort, the same and the different lands to get us to more positive changes. So until next week, and don't miss any of these, I've already got all the material done, three weeks, four weeks of this stuff. I did it today. I'm going to split them up into four bite-sized chunks for you, and they're good stuff, great stuff. It's really being helpful to me to relook at some of this stuff and, and um, applying it in, in where we're at in our new church plan. So uh, uh, hang out here. Get back here each week if you can. All right, until then, um, God bless you as you navigate through your changes.